Another little story, we were over at Hartlepool, my friends from over there, a well-known family from Hartlepool, really good kids, really dangerous people if you're on the wrong side of them, naughty, naughty people, but nicest lads you could ever meet. So we were doing a bit of gear over there, allegedly, with the uh, ecstasy, and we used to give him a lad over there, I won't mention his name, he's passed away this lad now, really good lad he was, and he was doing the easy, he was doing 50 a week for us to 100, and you give him on, say, on a bit, on a a Wednesday and they'd sell them Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you pick your money up on Monday. So anyway, when I was seeing him, he said, oh, there's a lad coming, he said, you see me, he's got 7,000 doves. He said, uh, he's coming from London, he's, he's wanting to sell them. He said, he's coming here at a certain time, but that's what well, I'll do, I'll come round if I'm collecting for what I've given you, the 50 I've given you, and we'll have them over and I'll give you a 1,000 for doing it. And I said, and I'll make it look like I'm taxing you. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> he let me know when they were coming, anyway, he sent me a text saying they were here. And we were just around the corner, my friends who lived up, the, up just up the manor. So we goes around, just like, I think there's four or five of us goes around. So we goes in, the big fat lad, about 25 stone, big, big fat pudding. And he was the one from London. And he was like, oh, it might, oh, it And I went, fuck off. And it was the left hook, dropped him. And um, dropped him in on the set eight. And I didn't know who he was, but later I'll tell you the story, who, who I found out who he was, and he, he was a proper Roman. So I met him and this other kid from Billingham was there and I fucking hit him as well. So he's at the floor and he's at the phone, he's dropped his phone, he's going, eh, 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 screaming on the set. I said, shut up, you fucking big fan, he was the size of him. Anyway, I grabbed him, so where's the gear to the other lad who was in the house? He said, oh, I see you, see you. So he gave me the 7,000 E. So they seen me get it. And he was going, I said, where are you from? He said, I'm from London as well. He said, yeah, I'm just up here visiting. I said, well, you'll keep quiet, you'll just visit. Get your mouth shut, nothing happened to you. So anyway, fucking uh, give me the 7,000 E. Uh, I think we should, I think we got about 30 grand for them, something ridiculous. But uh, I went back and I gave the lads a lump of money for doing the tax for us and uh, he, he stayed friends with us, but no no comebacks whatsoever. I, I think they'd but I think they'd bump somebody from London for them. Uh they end up getting taxed off us. But yeah, another little story there guys, another massive tax for the tax man.